Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have Soviet airplanes, Soviet cars, and Yugoslavian map. Right, there's enormous amounts of maps being released and I couldn't even choose which one should I take. Even the same uh, map maker here made another one that I really wanted to have, but I chose this one because it's partially in today's Serbia and partially in today's Croatia and kind of nice Brotherhood in Unity map that we're going to talk about. But anyway, there's a lot of beautiful mods released in the last seven days, so please go and check them out and uh, you're going to find something nice for yourself. The second thing we need to talk about, guys, if you find something that you like, uh, mod, uh, please give it a good grade or negative grade, or leave a feedback, comment, reward, anything what you wish. Uh, our, our modders mostly don't get paid for this, and uh, it would be nice to show some appreciation for their work, which I try to do with this mod Mondays as well. Anyway, let's get cracking. Here's first things first, uh, Jason Curtis and Yag 6-pack-3, there's a description in Russian uh, on Cyrillic, I believe it's Russian, and also I have English one, we're gonna read out the English one. Yag 6 Soviet heavy truck with loaded capacity of 5 tons, uh, produced in Yaroslav State Automobile Plant from 1936 to 1943. This is something for your early starters, uh, oh, somebody who wants to start before 1960s, this is a great, great thing to have. Uh, this third part presents eight modification. You have Yag-6 water, Yag-10 water, Yag-10 water plus, plus trailer, Yag-10 floodbed, Yag-10 covered, Yag-10 cover plus trailer, Yag-10 sewage and Yag-10 sewage and uh, trailer, so you can see all of those over here. Uh, they are presented, all of them. You have different color schemes as well. Uh, let's see if we can go and find them. Oh, they're all the way in the back, so we're gonna have to click the crap out of this to get to the to the latest uh, trucks. Uh, I'm still gonna go and uh, show you guys what col color schemes we have and how much they cost. We need to double check that. So you can see here, Yag tens. They cost around 4,000 rubles, 5,000 rubles, up to 7,600 rubles. And the color schemes is next to whatever you can imagine. You have a nice color scheme for yourself. Uh, 7,000 rubles. How does it compare, let's say, this one with uh, vanilla ones? Vanilla is 6,000 rubles, so definitely more expensive and has a little bit less capacity, I would even say. But anyway, quite realistic price. Link in the description of the video. Next up, we have Vintores and House Shop. You have description in uh, Russian as well, in Cyrillic. Sorry if it's not Russian, but let's assume it is. Uh, an English grocery store without collisions can be built into any house to save space of your republic. Yes, this is something that I'm always really happy to see. Now, bear in mind that, like it says, it is without collisions. So if you don't have perfectly flat terrain, it might be a little bit off, like the one that we have over here. So just make sure that you place it into existing building uh, that should be flat enough. But... Um, just a little bit of a heads up if you're gonna be using this. This is great because I lived in my hometown in in Yugoslavia, today's Croatia, my whole life. We had shops underneath the buildings and it's a small little shitty hometown, so it's nothing special. And the mixed-use mix use, um, uh, developments, I think it should be part of the game and unfortunately they're not. This way you can easily uh, make it so. You, you can see here that we have 10 sellers, it has 33 tons. Uh, Let's go like this, actually, let's see how much of the maximum is 10 ton capacity. Meat is 10 ton as well, that's a little bit a lot for the meat, but uh, um, uh, it, it, it is what it is. You have a lot of meat capacity in this one. Okay, so uh, what can we say about this one? We can go all the way in the back and say that this building is magazine, 150 people uh, can be serviced by this. It has 10 tons, 7 tons electronics, and it costs 4,000 rubles. That's a little bit on a cheap side. Let's compare it to vanilla. <laughs> if you go to our shops, vanilla one here, 17,000 rubles, service is the same. So it is a little bit on a cheap side, just a heads up on that. Uh, it has 10 workers and it can support 150, which is again more than vanilla, and it's uh, one quarter of the price. It has a smaller capacity though, but that's not that big of a deal. So it is a little bit on affordable side, so check it out if you want. For the developer, you can make it a little bit more expensive, it's definitely worth it, you know, so nobody considers that it's a cheaty or anything like that. But anyway, you want to see this in my Let's Plays, link in the description of the video. 
Next stop, Dima and Mars 5516 and Mars 6303. This is Uliki's favorite. Um, this is Uliki's favorite uh, car manufacturer or vehicle manufacturer, Minsk Auto Zavod from today's uh, Belarus, but Soviet one, of course. There's a description in the in the Russian, and there's a source code there as well but um, I, I can see that uh, it, it can be uh, these uh, vehicles can be built from 1994 so this is a late game uh, vehicle so we're gonna go and check them out real quickly so let's go and see the capacities 18 tons of steel can uh, this one carry uh, over here we have 18 tons of wastewater so it looks like it's an 18 ton vehicles uh, they're really really beautiful I like the 18 tons of concrete that's a little bit on a big side I'm not sure how it compares to the other ones so we're gonna have to check the price as well uh okay let's start clicking let's go with uh, cement mixers because i'm gonna compare it to cement mixers vanilla ones have 10 tons here 9000 rubles uh these ones would cost 11000 rubles and it has more capacity 100 kilometers per hour is the speed and uh, like eight meters it looks like it's a little bit uh too high capacity i have to be honest this one is six meters long really i thought that was a bigger one let's check it yeah, it looks like it has a little bit bigger mixer in the back, but uh, yeah, I might be wrong. doesn't really matter. It's a really nice model, and the price-wise, I think it's competitive with the with the vanilla one. 9,000, and this is a little bit more expensive, 11,700. So yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's not a cheaty mod at all. And I think it has different color schemes, so you can see here and change to any if you wish. Again, my favorite uh, car manufacturer and if mod is in the game, you're going to see it here. Link in the description of the video. Illusion 2-62M by W101011. The Illusion uh, is the first intercon intercontinental jetliner of United USSR. Uh, Illusion 60M uh, is the modified version. Uh, length 53 meters. Yeah, 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 all that good stuff. Uh, payload range 7,000 kilometers. Empty weight. Uh, seating capacity in game is 168 to 186, or 168 is in game. Uh, fuel capacity is in game is 23,000 liters. Uh, taking off. Uh, that's way too much. Produ production age 1963 to 1995. Um, um, right, so this is the one that we have. Decals are absolutely amazing. I love the the signage on the on the on the plane and the Soviet um, uh, Aeroflot old Soviet symbol. My friend, uh, my Spanish friend here in that one has a T-shirt of this um, Aeroflot symbol, the wings with a sickle and hammer, and Aeroflot in Cyrillic. And of course, you have CCCP on the side. Four engines, really, really beautiful thingy. Okay, so uh, if you want to produce these, you can do it early in the game. It's nineteen. Uh, uh, 1963 when they are first uh, introduced in the game so you can buy them uh, 341,000 rubles is the price so if you want to construct them or or anything like that this is the year of production uh, 300,000 rubles how does it compare to vanilla uh, definitely expensive we have here illusion do we have passengers let's go with passengers only passenger slash cargo so vanilla Tupolev. Yeah, it's more expensive than Tupolev, similar capacity, so definitely not a cheaty mod. For more details, you have a link in the description of the video. Hrod Berat uh, and Shop Consum, small shop based on a real consum shop in East Germany, sells food, meat, clothes, electronics, uh, connections, one road, one pedestrian, one factory. Right, um, this again looks a little bit like a mixed-use development, which unfortunately doesn't work in the game, but I really wish they they, they would uh, implement this in the game. I know it's hard, but uh, mixed-use development would be that you have apartments or maybe offices above and the shop downstairs, but uh, it's not how it works. Let's see the pedestrian entrance. Yes, it's directly in the shop. Let's see where the road connection is. I would like to see that as well. Oh, it's in front over here. And then we have industrial connection. That would be in the back so you can connect it to your storage area if you want but it's really really beautiful really beautiful model i wish we had mixed use development i will be using this shop for actually let's see if it's cheaty or not so it has capacity i believe of 10 tons this lo this looks like it's a 10 ton uh, capacity yeah and one ton of meat uh, nine tons and one ton of meat that's great and uh, let's see how much uh, 15 workers we can go to the shop and compare it to vanilla i believe we shouldn't have too much competition here uh, small store unfortunately here we go shop consum uh, is 15,000 rubles vanilla one would be 
17,000 rubles. The uh, vanilla one is a little bit bigger, and uh, definitely this is quite realistic price. I really, really like this shop. Uh, one of my favorite mods. Uh, right, link in the description of the video. Gorni Hotel and Cyrillic would be Bez Nad PC. I believe that's without any signage. Uh, by Vintores, uh, you have description in Cyrillic and Russian. I'm gonna skip that because it's gonna be butchering. Uh, Hotel Gorni without description, a copy of the Trojan Hotel from Romania. The hotel complex includes museum called Imperial Romal Thermal Baths and the existing Austrian Imperial Baths built in 1850. The ruins of Roman Thermal Baths. Uh, which are located on the lower levels of the hotel. The hotel accommodates 400 people, 40 staff, and also has an entrance and exit from two sides. It's, it, it is very expensive to build, but it will pro provide you with five star of attractiveness and stable flow of tourists. Yes, so let's see, capacity 400. Do we have capacity of 400 here? I would say, drum roll, yes. Uh, it looks like a really big hotel. This would be kind of like restaurants and kitchen and uh, cleaning stuff and everything else. And these would be mostly rooms, I believe, upstairs. And uh, yeah, I would say one window could be, and two windows would be one hotel room, which would be also generous. It's really, really beautiful details on this one, I have to say. Uh, oh, even balconies. I thought there was just windows. No, there are balconies. Wow, this is luxurious. I really like that. Okay, let's uh, compare it in the game. Let's go for the tourist attractions, hotels. Uh, nope, we're gonna have to go for big ones. Here we go. Hotel Gorni, 160,000 rubles. That's not too expensive. We had way more expensive than these. And uh, the city hotel Vanilla would be 30,000 rubles. What about these? No, 19 and 14. So yeah, it's quite, quite expensive, which is quite realistic. So definitely not a cheaty mod. Uh, really, really beautiful details. Thank you so much for this. Link in description of the video. Unfortunately, we have another invisible one, uh, T100 by Foxer. Uh, this building is made of panels and bricks, accommodates 216 people, and has a quality of life of 91%, costs 11,167 rubles or $12,900. Depends, of course, on where you place it. Unfortunately, it's not visible. I can't find it anywhere, and for me, it's um, it's impossible to, to present it here. It looks really nice. It looks similar to some of the vanilla models, but it's just a little bit bigger. Uh, but um, it's really beautiful uh, model. I will be contacting the mod maker and hopefully it's gonna be by the time you're watching this video I'm recording this on Sunday uh, by the time you're watching this video on Monday Hopefully it's gonna be resolved. But anyway, unfortunately link in the description is to the model if you want to go and subscribe um, So all the details are there Gledam banat sremi bačku s fruške gore. This is uh, Bačka Palanka Susek Vojvodina Serbia by uh, Milos Music 97. I believe it's Milos Music uh, 97. A beautiful, beautiful map of uh, even my county. Uh, technically, it's even my county. I come from Eastern Croatia. Uh, it's uh, it's called Western Srem or Srem uh, part in Croatia. And you have the Srem in the Serbian part uh, across the Danube River, uh, which I believe this should be Danube River. Is Danube or Yeah, this Danube River. And um, the left hand side from our view here would be, I think, today's Croatia. And on the right hand side, this would be Bačka Palanka. And uh, uh, city in Serbia in Vojvodina. It's really really beautiful uh, region my favorite potentially my next let's plays is gonna be on this map But um, anyway, anyway, let's go back to the uh, To the topic at hand. Let's read a word or two from the uh, Miloš, a map based on Bačka Palanka Susek uh, Vojvodina Serbia map is uh, dominated by lands uh, with Danube River and some hills of Fruška Gora, yes, that would be the, the hillside. It's uh, predominantly it's flat areas. I come a little bit west from here, but uh, anyway. As expected, uh, true to the real life region, doesn't have any resources except some oil, so the map itself should be played heavily on the agriculture and on manufacturing industry supported by foreign imports. Yes, this is one of those things that uh, Uliki really likes, is a challenge, challenge, challenge. So let's check out the map and the resources. So. Here we go. Uh, map itself first. You can see some hillside, Fruška Gora on the north. I believe but Kapalanka would be somewhere here. There's also city of Ilok uh, on the other side, but it's predominantly, I think a small part here would be Croatia and most of it uh, on the other, on all sides would be uh, Vojvodina and uh, Serbian part, uh, Ser Serbian side of the Danube River. And anyway, it's extremely beautiful area. I grew up in, in <laughs> these, these areas, so it's really beautiful. Anyway, resources. Coal? No. 
Iron? No. Oil? Some, some. <laughs> you can start tapping it. And it's it's uh, quite realistic. It's, um, it's barely something there, uh, but it's enough for you to have your own industry as well. And um, it just, just absolutely beautiful. Uranium? No. <laughs> Bauxite? No. Uh, border crossings? No. <laughs> You're gonna have to do everything on your own. So it doesn't have any um, uh, resources. It's extremely challenging. It's flat grounds. You can start exporting straight away. Of course, the shipping is gonna have to be your primary export. Actually, would you even be able to do so? I don't know. Uh, maybe we're gonna get some border crossings later on. Wait, 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 wait. My bad, my bad. You have border crossings to export even electricity over here. So yeah, th that's not gonna be a problem. Sorry about that. That's my miss. You have several border crossings, so you can trade with everybody, import, exports, and also shipping would definitely be a thing. I suggest going for shipping as well. Anyway, uh, that's it. I'm going to leave it here. This is Yelok. This would be kind of like, uh, it, I think this is upside down, maybe. Uh, Yelok says it's here, but I think it should be on the south side somewhere. Doesn't matter. Really beautiful map. Anyway, uh, let's leave it here and say uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification, bell, ring, and comment section. Hit it. And if you want to support the channel, tch, 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 have the description of the video. Happy Monday, guys, and we're going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.